If you're shopping for a home solar power system and you're using the Energy Sage Marketplace to find installers, then stop right there. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video first because I'm gonna explain why, if you're shopping for solar, Energy Sage is not your friend. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And here at Solar Surge, we use solar power, battery backup, and sometimes even generator backup as well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining why if you're shopping for solar, Energy Sage may not be your best friend. And uh, the reason has to do with most of the Energy Sage process is really incentivizes and encourages you to price shop multiple solar installers. Now, solar, some people might say, well, solar is just a commodity, it's just energy, you wanna get it for the cheapest price. And, and I can understand and, and I kind of agree with that thinking of definitely wanting to make sure you're getting the best value, but there's a lot of different nuances with solar technology, especially when you're talking about different types of inverters and different types of batteries. If you're looking for a home backup type solution, where shopping on price alone or shopping with price as the primary, you know, primary determining factor really, really could do you a disservice. You know, one of the things that we've seen in the solar industry over the last four or five years is that there's a number of young companies that are getting into the business because that they see that there's been so much growth and there's just so much opportunity. And, and many of them think, hey, there's just so much money to be made in solar, I wanna get in a part of that. And so many of those younger companies, they don't have a, an advertising and a marketing department and they don't really kind of know how to, how to present their business to the marketplace properly. They'll gravitate to sites like Energy Sage where they, they don't really have to market their business. You know, they essentially can log in they can submit bids electronically without ever having to go out and meet with a customer or, or have to acquire that customer's uh, attention on their own. And so a lot of young companies like to gravitate to marketplace aggregators like this, where again, it kind of does, does the marketing for them. All they have to do is bid on projects. The danger with that though, is that the way the solar industry has gone, at least for the top tier companies, is that these solar power installations come with a, a 25 year in some cases, a 25-year bumper-to-bumper warranty. So you've got coverage on the solar panels, the inverters, uh, and, the, and the installation labor as well. And what we've seen is that a lot of the younger companies, although they can, they can wrap their head around what the costs are to install the solar system on day one, they have a lot of difficulty in accurately forecasting what the long-term expenses are to adequately service and honor the warranty over 25 years. You know, I've been doing this for long enough that I've seen now that even the best installation with the best equipment, over a long enough timeline, something is going to happen where, you know, you have to have a technician come back out and maybe check a connection for you or check a solar panel for you. Just make sure everything is up and running healthy. And so what I would advise to those of you who are shopping for solar is don't just look at the price that the contractor is offering but also especially look at what's the length of time that that company has been in business and ask yourself how confident are you that this company is going to be around 10, 20, 25 years from now to honor the terms of the warranty. The other pitfall that I see a lot of folks make when finding uh, installers on the marketplace here is that they'll work with an installer where generally that installer may only have one brand of equipment to offer. So if this is, a, let's say this is a, an Enphase uh, partner, they may only be able to offer an Enphase microinverter and battery system. Um, same, thing, same thing if it's a Tesla partner. That company may only be able to offer uh, Tesla battery equipment or Generac or any of the other brands. Um, one of the unique things about how we work here at SolarEdge is we work with multiple installers and we vet the best installers, which gives us more options. So instead of having to propose or, or, or provide a price quote based on the one brand that we happen to be offering, we actually can custom tailor a system exactly to your needs, figure out what's the best equipment and what are the best manufacturer's uh, equipment to meet your needs, and then get you connected directly with the correct installer or the best qualified installer to install on that equipment. So folks, this has just been some of the reasons why Energy Sage may not be your best friend if you're shopping for a home solar system. 
Um, as always, if you'd like to take a look at some options as far as what options would be available for you, as I mentioned, we have multiple brands available, whether it's solar panels, batteries, inverters. So if you'd like to talk to one of our experts and just see what options are available for your home and what the pricing might look like, you know, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, it'll just take you to our website and it'll allow you to book a no obligation virtual meeting with one of our system designers. And really the goal is just to talk through what your needs, what your goals are, and then we'll take that information and we'll come back to you with one or multiple proposals of a solar system that will meet those needs for you. As always, whenever you do a quote or whenever you do a consultation with us, there's no cost to you and there's no obligation that you have to do anything with it. We're not gonna you know, twist your arm or anything like that. But of course, if you do wanna get a system installed, then we'd be happy to get the process started for you. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on the channel here, please be sure to click on that like button so that YouTube and the other platforms know to show this video to more viewers. And then also click on the subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with us as we publish out the new videos. Right now, we're trying to get a couple videos out per week. Also, be sure to check in with us next week, Thursday, November 11th, for our first Solar Surge live stream. It's going to be next Thursday, November 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'm going to be interviewing Zane Jan, CEO and founder of Better Earth Solar. Uh, Better Earth is one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing solar company in the country, and Zane's going to be teaching our audience how he was able to grow his business multiple times so fast, and also give you an opportunity to ask questions and have your questions answered in real time. So please be sure to tune into that, all of you solar professionals and business owners out there. Well, folks, as always, I thank you for giving your time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.